all believe in, in, in a god. So I I don't buy the debunking god theory. No. They're not, you know, we'll, we'll debunk a lot of stuff, but I don't think the government's going to debunk god. No. I, I think that would be, that would lead to, that would that would be just as bad as the government saying, yep, you know, tomorrow we're going to start uh, collecting all the guns. Well, hey, don't forget, uh, there was a country for many years before it, uh, it collapsed and formed their new government, which I don't really think has changed that much. But they debunked uh, going to church. I mean, they virtually closed every church in their country except for one church. And if you were going to that one church, you know, you were watched like you wouldn't believe. They did not believe in God. Well, just look how fast Christianity uh, uh, boomed in, you know, the medieval times. Just look how fast it boomed right after uh, Constantine, you know. He was like, oh, go, go to Christianity, go to Christianity, you know. And then... well, sorry, uh, sorry for changing the point. Yeah, you're kind of off there a little bit. Yeah, but uh, well, here, here's 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 the thing. Okay, in you know this doesn't apply to the the entire world, but it does apply here because this is a free country. You can believe in whatever you want. That's t- totally up to you to believe what you want. Exactly. That's why. That's why we coexist as Christians, as 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 Jehovah's Witnesses, um, as as um, whatever religion. I mean, even some of the off the wall cults. We all coexist because that's a freedom that we have being in this country. Yeah. So I'm not going to call you nuts or crazy for believing in UFOs. I'm not yeah. going to call you nuts for believing in God. You believe what you want. Well, how, okay. Country. That's uh, how we were that's how this country was formed. Well, but you're going to you're not going to be upset with me if I say the world is totally flat and if you walk to the end of it you're going to fall off. Yeah. You can believe that if you want. I'll disagree with you, but it's you're you're more than you're more than free to believe it. Well, you know what? There's a lot of people I wish would walk to the end of the street and fall off. <laughs> I'm seriously. Hey, I, I can't figure out, you know, when they, I've talked to a couple of people on the flat earth thing and they say, well, the earth is totally flat. Then you sit there and say, okay, so you walk to the end of the earth, then you walk on the bottom of the earth and you come back on the top. It don't make sense. So the earth is just no. like this big flat uh, stretch of land and it's. It's a t- piece of floor tile. Yeah. And, and you, so where do you, you, go, where do you yeah. go when you, uh, you walk go on, on the a plane? You, you walk on the top and you walk on the bottom. And I would think the people on the bottom of the earth, on the flat uh, people who believe in the flat earth uh, thing, right? You're on the bottom of the earth. You're going to fall off in space. There, there'd well, be a lot of nosebleeds. Well, look at yeah. the Pirates. Have you ever seen Pirates of the Caribbean where they're like, oh, let's, we have to go to the end of the earth to save Jack Sparrow. So they went to the end of the earth. They got to the end of the earth. And they basically just, you know, their ship fell off. Just like the Twilight well, Zone. Yeah, I remember the Twilight Zone series where they the, the aliens came down, right, and they took over part of the Earth or took the Earth. But as the people tried leaving the, that little city, there was a big, like, they couldn't go anywhere. It was nothing there. Right. Was, did they just keep ending up back in the city? Or? No, I, I think they just walked in there and totally disappeared. Mm. But, you know, going back to giants and stuff, I, you know, I was reading, too, that it was quite common, you know, for the uh, giants to actually go grab a woman and mate with her. And, uh, you know, I'm just wondering if that also caused some other species where men actually started getting like whatever, taller. Maybe that's how men started growing taller. Or what if the Neander- Neanderthals came out of it? Maybe. Well, I mean, if you really look at it, go biblical times, man was like four foot six, four foot nine. And then, you know, you, if, if maybe if uh, some of the giants started mating with uh, with the, the humans, okay, then all of a sudden the humans started getting taller. Think about it, the yep. genes. I mean, it's possible. Yep. It's, this is possible. The earth being flat, isn't it? Well, yeah. I mean, and then that's why we're able to have this discussion. Oh, yeah. Because... You know, there are places on this planet where we can't have this discussion, period. Oh, no, yeah. Certain, it, it, certain places, yeah. At least not on, on a public forum. You know, you and me sitting on, at a table with a cup of coffee, yeah, absolutely, whatever. Just don't tell anybody we talked about this. Yeah, I well. Pray. 
but here, you know, so yeah, if, if, but the Anunnaki, Anunnaki talked about the fact that when the visitors came down to earth, they were fascinated with the beauty of the human woman. Oh yeah. Well, have that you, leads right. That leads right to what you're talking about. Well, haven't you ever seen any of these B movies where the uh, the giants always look so horrible? Oh yeah. Well, that's a, that was a bad joke, but I mean, seriously, I mean, the human form compared to a, a different species, because uh, I mean, again, the biblical time they're talking about one eyed giant. Or, you know, being disformed giants and, you know, and all that stuff. What if the aliens just dropped off the giants? Well, do you ever think maybe the giants were actually aliens at the start? You know, maybe a, a, a Starcraft crashed on Earth, right? Starcraft. And they, <laughs> they they started populating the Earth and Love then it. man started. And then naturally man, you know, they had to be... Uh, Anyone that's playing Starcraft superior. right now, you're awesome. Well, the thing is... Okay, when you know this is something we've covered before, um, but it relates to this because if, if the universe is as large as it is, there are places in this universe that are that are way way older than we are that have been around much longer than we have, and who's to say? And I I kind of believe this happens. I don't know that it happened here or not, but there's life out there that's trying to find a place to escape to. Oh yeah, and that could have been the giants. I mean, there's all kinds of theories you can go with here. Yeah, the fact remains there's too much like, proof that they were here. Well, what happened? What happened to the other species of humans that were living on this planet? They got wiped out. Well, I you go to that. the you go to the cave. But what if, what if the what if the aliens were like, hey, come come live with us, and you know. Let's go build another civilization, civilization elsewhere. And what if they took them because they thought they were like the most dominant species because they were like the most because they were hunting like mammoths and stuff like that. What if the aliens took them away, at least a few of them? And started, I, I think it started. makes more sense that they brought them than they took them away. Yeah, well, um, I, I, that's just my opinion. Well, they but. they. They coexisted. We, you know, the, the all, all the all the ancient writings lean towards us coexisting with them, with the and then eventually writings. killing them off. Well, at the start, yeah, and then it slowly started changing. Uh, I think as the human race started more evolving, and 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 it was to be honest with you. I mean, you you take how fast that the human race keeps multiplying. And even going That's back, great. going back to whenever before uh, Christ, I mean, you know, humans were like multiplying, like you know, like like maggots, right? And then you have another uh, species of of life, right? It might not be multiplying that fast or not. I mean, you know, it's just in again, it goes back well, to the food source, and there well, wouldn't be enough food. I well, mean, it was hard enough as well. Like you mentioned, like the cavemen, the cavemen died out because there was another species of humans which were more advanced, and there wasn't enough food to go around. Well, I have, well, and and that food thing is is a huge deal because right now you look at how many people are on this planet and how we have to how we have to. Um, push our food production we have to give you know they give hormones to, to uh, animals to make them grow faster we have cattle in feedlots waiting to be slaughtered where they're tra trampling around in their own feces and we wonder why people get sick from undercooked beef people didn't get sick from uh, undercooked beef and meat you know no. 100 years ago no and you take like the out well you got to think about the certain diseases that came out back in like the medieval times, like the Black Death and the Black pa the Black Plague, that wiped out nearly half yeah, the population. Yeah, but that that, in that was from unsanitary conditions. Could you imagine, Kevin, going to a doctor in 1870? <laughs> so let's right? go to, let's and, go to a dentist. And, and, <laughs> yeah, uh, you you would die with a, a tooth infection. For but probably. I mean, seriously, you know what they believed? They believed in bleeding you. Right. Second so leeches. if you were sick, the first thing they thought, oh, we got to bleed this infection out of yep. you. So they bled you to bad death. blood out. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, yep. th that's how men are. I mean, let's, let's face it. Then you, you look at all how different species would survive or not survive. It's, it'd be really hard 
all of a sudden, if if there was, let's, there's Bigfoot, for example, right? Mm-hmm. The reason why you probably don't see him, or very few people have seen him, because there's not that many around, and they're not going to yeah, be able to populate anymore well, because they're not uh, in big groups well, anymore. If you take, well, if you take a species, okay, and this could be like future. This could be like future technology advancement for like cloning and stuff like that. But if you take a species, throw it in like an enclosed area or like an area where it can grow, okay? You take a male and a female, that species is eventually going to grow, multiply, multiply, 2, 4, 16, 32, so on, so on. Just like how the human race all of a sudden grew on Earth. No, well, th- th- tell me this too, uh, Kevin and Ryan. Just think about this again. We're talking about even in the 1800s, uh, man has been growing, and 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 we're not talking about an inch. We're talking multiple inches in height. What is causing it? Is it better food, or is it Maybe what is what is causing generation. it? I mean, no, seriously, what's causing it? Well, each new generation comes out with better. Um, Better, uh, better um, genes. Better genes. So, like Levi. But so every time <laughs> a new generation comes out, maybe we're just getting better protected against certain things. Maybe it goes back to the, even to the giants. Okay, like exactly. they like they I liked think. they like taking women. Okay, and uh, having fun with them, and uh, you know, and maybe their genes. Uh, being incorporated right with a woman her given birth and then from generation on generation and from generation those genes are still there but it's slowly causing you know maybe that's why men is getting taller otherwise it could be the opposite men could be getting shorter well and 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 when you look at when you look at evolution over over the years man has gotten taller and taller and taller i think part of it is um the, the the human form adapting to its surroundings and the needs. Well, it's just depending to be, on to like be a larger, lives. stronger. Too. Um, well, this, the same way. Look at this. You go back uh, two hundred years ago. Men had real thick hair, and now um, a lot of men don't have hair at a certain age. They don't need it. It's something right. that's it, eventually. I hate to say it. Humans probably won't have hair. So I mean, well, you know, it, and that that could go right back towards the the the, the conditions then. on Earth to support life. Back then, there was less dangerous rays getting through the ozone to the Earth, which allowed life to grow differently. Yeah, well, so gotta, it makes sense that 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 early man and early giants. Uh, you talk about the red-headed giants, where they found these these giants with red hair down to their waist. I have a quite you know? I, I have a question for you. Do you think actually maybe a question for both of you. I have a uh, sorry. Um do you think that maybe mankind is losing their hair because you know because of our industrialization and because we're constantly clipping our hair. No. Uh, you know what I think it and is? And because um because what I think is, since we're like growing older and older each day, our hair is getting grayer and grayer. Kevin, you know what it is. Okay, we don't really have a use for it because we're we're heated by, um, you know, electric heaters. Our house is insulated. We're not. You just we, pointed out that Kevin, right there. Yeah. There's your answer. Okay, back just like anything. Okay, horses, right? They shed during the summertime. They lose their hair. A lot of it falls out. Okay, it's the same way with humans, okay? As we evolve, right? We don't, we have heat in our house. We got clothing, okay? So we're not walking around naked or semi-naked out in the elements, and your body is adapting it the same way they found fish in caves with no eyes. The same way. I mean, your body will eventually start adapting it. So Very soon, we might have babies with, like, extra hands and stuff. You never know. That'd be scary. That would be scary, like four (laughs) hands. (laughs) I hate to get a massage by somebody with three hands. I tell you that, but uh, well, and, and I, you know, there there could be something to the to the fact that that as as the Earth ages, 
and more more UV rays come through. 